Hey everyone, Emma here, also known as 8 Fun Hello, bringing all of you another video. I have such a fun video today, in my opinion. This is something a little different from what I have done in the past. We're going to be talking about the Rolling Stones today. I have a concert view that I want to share with all of you, kind of share some thoughts, overall experiences of uh, this particular Rolling Stone show. But we're going to do a roundtable type discussion. Uh, some members of the vinyl community that you may or may not be familiar with, and I'm going to link them down below, definitely go check them out. Uh, but Alex over at Beer and Vinyl and Vance over at Zep Pearl and myself, we all met up before the Rolling Stone show in uh, Chicago, Illinois. It was the June 30th, 2024 show. This was the second night in Chicago. It doesn't get any better uh, than the Rolling Stones in Chicago at Soldier Field. But we met up before the show. And we talked music a little bit. It's always fun doing a little VC meetup. Ended up walking over to Soldier Field and, of course, seeing the Stones. Uh, for me, this was such a huge deal because I had never seen the Stones before. This is a band that I have always loved. Um, I've always talked highly of, especially on this channel, especially the early Stones. I love this stuff. And uh, this was a huge bucket list item for me. And I know it was a huge bucket list item for Alex as well. I think Vance has seen the Stones a couple of times before, but um, in terms of like modern Rolling Stones, this was a first for him. So that's why I'm very excited about this video. Again, a kind of a round table discussion. We're gonna be sharing our overall experiences uh, and thoughts on the show and the production and uh, everything else that we kind of wanna add. So that's what this video is gonna be about. I hope that you all enjoy it as always leave down in the comments below. Did you go see the Hackney Diamonds tour, right? This is the big album that is uh, that is getting support here on this particular tour. Have you seen it? What are your overall thoughts? Just other experiences with the Rolling Stones. Share them down below. I always love hearing from all of you. Uh, but with that, sit back and enjoy the discussion. Well, I mean, I guess, you know, uh, Vance maybe would love to, I guess, start with you just uh, as the uh, person who has seen the stones a, a handful of times leading up to this point um you know was when these went on sale uh, or was announced was this a was this like a no-brainer for you where you're like oh it's, i'm definitely going or uh well what was that process like for you yeah actually it was uh it, it was it's my third time seeing them i saw them in 81 and 89 and then they came around in 2019 and I was like, man, I'd like to go see them again. And I actually thought 2019, you know, this could, that could be the last one. Which, you know, looking back, it was, you know, Charlie was still there. Um, but I didn't, I wasn't able to go. I think we were going to, I was going on vacation the day after. So, and had to get up early for a flight. I'm like, ah, I can't make it. So, yeah, when they, with they, this tour, for whatever reason, maybe because the album, you know, the, the Hackney Diamonds album came out, what, last, late last year, was it? Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, I was, you know, I was all in, you know, I thought it's been one of the better sounding albums or, you know, that I've been interested in since Voodoo Lounge, you know. Yeah. Um, I, I went right over that Big Bang and Bridges to Babylon. I had it on CD, but I, I can tell you the last time I played it. So I was all in a hack, you know, listening to songs. I, I went out, got the album and uh, I said, yeah, I'm, I got to see this tour because this is probably maybe, you know, mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure they'll keep going, but you know, you never know. So, uh, yeah, it was kind of a, yeah, I got to get tickets to this. Um, I didn't get them right when they went on sale though. I kind of, I waited and I, uh, I, I, what did I, what did I say? Probably like two, three weeks before I found a, a, a cheap seat, you know, a single, you know, since I was going by myself and, uh, and that usually works out. So had that upper section, that section 400 section, but that second row. So I, I had one had really guy nice in front of me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, it was like an over bird's eye view almost. And, um, and I had one goofy guy in front of me and then that was it, you know. <laughs> so uh, it was kind of a no brainer, but I didn't jump on it right away. I kind of waited it out, which I, you know. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, me. Alex? What was your experience <laughs> yeah. with uh, with this? Yeah. Well, I mean, speaking of waiting it out, I guess that's sort of, uh, you know, what we did. I mean, I, as the, uh, I mean, I wouldn't say like I'm a, you know, a member of like the youngest members of the VC sort of group, but I am certainly not a uh, old person in this community. Um, you know, and I, I think just over the last several years, it's become more and more, you know, obvious that our heroes are just, you know, going away uh, by the day. And, um, and I think it was one of the things that there, there's enough shows in the, in my past that I put off 
with like, oh, I'll go see him next time. I'll go see him next time. And it's that putting it off reason that I didn't see some of my favorite artists when they were still around. And now I'll never get that chance anymore. So yeah, I got um, a lot of stories like that too. Yeah. yeah. And so I think for me, it was like, man, I would just love to find a way to go. Like if I, if I can make it work, I'm going to make it work and I'm going to go um, to the, to the show. And so, you know, there are a couple different options around me and I think they had a Cleveland date, which would have been a few hours away, but you know, thinking of course, um, you know, figuring that would totally be something that Emma would be into. And she was probably thinking the same thing in terms of like, you know what, like this might be it, like yeah. let's, let, let's do this. And so Chicago, it was for, uh, for us. And, uh, I guess similar to you, you know, we, uh, were going back and forth for a while about what kind of seats we wanted. Um, it, yeah. I was doing, I am like the master of soldier field now. I know every view, I know the pros and cons of every every seat for a show. And that was the first time I saw a concert there. Um, but we were kind of toying around with, okay, if we did like the 400s, kind of like you did or 300s and we were kind of closer to maybe the first five rows and you kind of get closer to the stage in that way. Um, we were talking about that, but I also like have fear of heights. So that didn't really work out. So then we started thinking, okay, well, we don't want to, um, we don't want to drop, you know, $500 on floor seats or something like that. So then we looked at the rear GA section and, uh, it's just kind of in the, in the back behind the pit and the kind of near the, the sound booths, um, just a standing room only section in the back of the field. And, um, we ended up, you know, I was kind of looking at pictures and reading up on it. And I was like, well, if you get there kind of early enough and you can get the barricade that kind of blocks those seats off, you're basically paying almost twice as less than than people sitting in a seat right in front of you. So um, we ended up kind of playing around with that. We ended up popping for the rear GA and it ended up working out actually really well. <laughs> well so the view was awesome. We did get there early and we did um, end up getting pretty much barricades so yeah you guys are right a person behind it right yeah about yeah. a person right behind so yeah. but uh, going kind of off of what alex was saying yeah i mean the stones for me it was a huge bucket list of course i didn't do the 2019 one and i was toying with that and then i didn't do it and it goes back to right like the number one band or person that i think back to that i could have went to go see and then he died like a month later is tom petty me and too. Sin yeah yeah at Summerfest, yeah, right same no, I might actually had an opportunity to go to Red Rocks and I blew it off and two months oh. later he's dead. And I'm like, oh. yeah, same thing. Well, I was I was thinking about seeing him at Summerfest and then that was like a month later he was dead. So ever since then, I've definitely been on the concert kick trying to make sure that I go see who I want to see um, and just make it work. And with this tour, love the album. With this tour, it was like, I wanted to go, but I almost accepted the fact that I wasn't going to do it. Um, and I kind of blew that off. And so when Alex texted me and it was like, stones are in Chicago. I want to go. Do you want to go? I was like, let's go. And so we made it happen. So that was a lot of fun. Yeah. It's just the spur of the moment too. Things are yeah. always good. Yeah. 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 So, you know, and you know, brings us to this point here. What, what I thought was the highlight other than the show was, uh, was connecting and meeting up with, uh, with you fans, I mean, yeah. I, I mean you guys. You know, this, I mean, this is this is like the Rolling Stones concert review and VC. Yeah, uh, we didn't, we didn't hit a, a shop or anything, but yeah, I mean, it was kind of well. Me and Emma actually did that at the Cheap Trick show, mm -hmm. uh, which was cool, and I think Dylan was with you. So absolutely, yeah, I think it was one of the. I think you were talking about it on a live stream. I said, "Oh, I'm going," and then we just kind of going started going back and forth. Yeah, um, and yeah, I, I was trying to figure out. I mean, I was looking at both shows, going back, trying, just trying to, you know, it was more coming down to price. You know, what do I want to pay? You know, I'm not going to pay $500 to sit up in the seats where I sat, you know. So it was, yeah. I was just going back and forth, watching the dates. And it, I, it, it was Sunday, weird. So. It was weird not to go too much on this path, but like looking at the difference in accessibility and cost of the Thursday show yeah. versus the Sunday show was yeah. uh, was significant. I mean, it, it was. was yeah. Yeah, I mean, a few hundred dollars. I mean, we paid, you know, not to go into crazy into the details, but, you know, probably averaged out to, you know, 130 140 a ticket um, with all the fees and, ta you know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But for the Thursday show, it was almost, it was twice that. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, no, Vance was also kind of like our, 
he was like kind of our impromptu tour guide too. He was able. He to, was our local. He was able to bring us to Soldier Field and back. So we appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> Little pathways there. Yeah. Save money, save money on the Uber. A lot of walking. We got our oh, steps yeah. in. Oh, we oh, sure yeah. did. <laughs> my I'm feet still I'm hurt. Still feeling it. Yeah, I'm, I'm still feeling it. A week I, later. I wore some sole down on my shoes. So. Yeah. Well, I will say, I mean, this was, uh, you know, I'll, sh I'll show it here, but I mean, Vance, obviously it was just so great, you know, meeting, connecting with you and, and, and hanging out with you, but also, um, logistically, I mean, you came so much in the clutch for, for Emma and I, because we, you know, rushed to the front of that rear GA, you know, we were pretty much like stuck in there. I mean, it got to a point where it was like, look, if we leave, there's no coming back, yeah. you know, there's not much we can do. There was all this talk about the tour merch, and I know you have a little bit of a, a, a panic story about merch too. But um, you know, all this yeah. talk about the tour merch, and you know, the posters for the Chicago Soul show had sold out online. There was a couple different you know trucks that we went to outside the venue where they had no posters. Um, it was it was becoming one of these things of oh no, we have like an RSD issue on our hands. It's this real life Gandalf, you know. This is <laughs> I was like, we got, you know, and so then it was like Emma and I are shoved up front. We got all these people behind us. There's no way we're going to be able to get out of here. Can't even uh, keep and, and so I was like, you know, like, bummer, I won't be able to get the poster. But, you know, such is life. And then you hit me with the message that was like, hey, look, I'm at I'm at the merch. They got some yeah. posters. Let me know if you want me to grab you one. Yeah, it was the uh, it was the merch up on the upper 400 level and i'm like looking in because i was like eh, do i get something i'm looking at it to see what they had and then they had this little um like display thing they didn't have the poster on the like clipped on the wall you know it was like display thing on the table and i'm looking and they got the pins in there and then all of a sudden i see like poster like holy shit there's the posters and i was like yeah i text you like did you guys get them or no and well i got them here i'll snag you one and the funny thing is okay yeah get me one and then I, I pay for it, and I walk out, and then all of a sudden I get the message back, get Emma one. I'm like, <laughs> I'm Emma one. I'm like, oh, crap. So I actually went, I didn't go back in line. I kind of went because I was like, actually, I think I was rolling yours when you sent, I was like kind of rolling it up. And I went, I just went back at the end of the line and told the guy, I said, yeah, I need one more. He says, okay. And there was a guy that he was helping, and he got one. He pulled out, those were the, he, was, he said, you're lucky. These are the last two, you know, the one guy. <laughs> For him and then me and i was like oh geez you know and, luckily you know, and and the funny thing was right is I like know, the booth had him but that at that booth that was it and i was like yeah i mean i could only think though that down by us wouldn't have had him because everybody that was in those lower sections was there early but for yeah. you nobody with you know very few people with a 400 level you know a reserved seat thinking. would have been there two hours before showtime. You but know? the fact that, yeah, the, there had have been, I don't know how many people might have bought it before, but there had, maybe then, were there five? Not that in that many. Case? Yeah, there had been like yeah, maybe five in that case. Were, I don't know. Yeah, because yeah. you were there early. Yeah. So, hmm. yeah, so well, that, that worked out. Yeah. Yeah. I just, uh, that looks I, good. I will say that the more that this sits here, when I first saw this art, I said, okay, it's, it's, it's good. It's yeah. good. The more it sits in this frame, though, the more I'm like, I do like it. It it's, looks nice. Yeah. Hey, it's, it's better high, than it's Lucifer. Much better than Denver. It's that yeah. high quality, like actual, like lithograph type instead of just regular, like you yeah. Know, there's like a little gloss to uh, yeah, like the, so, the bean uh, and stuff. I noticed yeah. real high quality. I just could not be more uh, thrilled about this. So, cheers, Vance. That this yeah, meant the world, man. Thank you. Hey, yeah. no problem. It, it was funny too. I'm like, okay, well. They didn't have bags. I said, give me a couple rubber bands. And I shoved it into my jacket sleeve. But then sitting up top, man, that wind was coming off the lake. And I was like, oh, man, I got to put my jacket on. So I'm thinking, what else can I do? Let's see if I can go. I know. I'll go. <laughs> I go down to the concession stand. She goes, yeah, well, you want a beer? You want some food? I said, no, can I, can I have one of those garbage bags back there? <laughs> and she goes, it's look, so look smart. Look. Yeah. It's so, so, like, give me, so I put in that just to kind of protect it and just kind of wrap it up. So, you know, my little olive oil greek fingers didn't touch it That's and uh and it was cool and i didn't have actually you know i didn't have a lot of people coming through i just had it you know so i was able to hang on to it and not hopefully not screw it up too much so that was awesome i'm uh, definitely using the garbage bag method moving forward so yeah, that or yeah i just i was just, just something that i just didn't want to you know touch yeah. it smart so kept it tight with the rubber bands so, so it was yeah. people to hang on to you know because and then most of the time they you know the people up there weren't standing so yeah. it was just it was you know I didn't have to worry about getting kicked around and stuff. Yeah, but so, I was you know I was I was like then my well I'll get into my story then with that. 
Yeah. So I did all that, right? I'm like, okay, you know. So then I ordered it from the website, a shirt, uh, this shirt and um, the poster. And yesterday, you know, it said it was supposed to come Saturday. It didn't. It's going FedEx. And it says it's FedEx. It says it's delivered. And the guy put it outside of my apartment building on the table by the back door, right? And I'm like, oh, crap. So I text my neighbor. I go, go down there. You know, there should be a package for me. She goes down there and says, no, there's nothing there. She goes in the back. There's nothing there. I go, what? Oh. I go, and so I thought, you know, it's got stolen, right? And I was pissed all that. It was just like two o'clock yesterday in the afternoon. I'm pissed. I'm, I hate, you know, I'm like, I hate freaking people. Stupid FedEx driver leaves it in the <laughs> back. And the, why didn't he even leave a tag? And goddamn thieves and porch pirates and i'm just cursing every people suck and so and i go home and i go in the back and there's nothing i'm looking around thinking it's gonna pop up and then i come up to my place and and it's laying in front of my door and i go what and i you know and i, I told my neighbor i said she's here she goes i don't know maybe and she was like i don't know maybe there's the guy that lives downstairs he goes through the back door and we all try here in the building you know you get a pack somebody puts it up so he must have seen it in the back. She's assuming he goes through the back door, so out there and put it up by my door. And I was like, and I, my faith in people went up a little, but just a little yeah, bit. I was like, oh, all right, you know, I said, oh, okay, some good karma for a second. Yeah. So I had that panic all day and I was just pissed and it, it turned out to be fine, but yeah. uh, it was frustrating, you know, it's stupid FedEx. So, yeah. But, you know, speaking of uh, faith in people, uh, you know, we uh, showtime started with the opener at 8 p.m. We got there. I mean, we were doors opened at six. And so, I mean, we were there obviously earlier than that even. But, uh, you know, we get into our spots probably around, you know, shortly there after six o'clock. And we're, we're pretty firm in our spots. And, uh, you know, the opener rolls around um, at eight o'clock. And, you know, we don't need to spend a whole lot of time on it. But the opener, for those who don't know, was Lainey Wilson, who is a um new uh up and coming uh if not already probably huge um country artist um you know i, I you know we don't need to or i don't want to you know say anything negative it's just i, I just think an interesting pairing um yeah. for that type of show and with the stones and um it, it's not really for me uh you know but uh band was good and all that kind of stuff but uh you know i don't know if either of you have any uh thoughts that you'd like to share about the opener I think with the Stones, though, they've always brought on, definitely always try to help out some newer artists. Yeah. Uh, something a little different. When I first saw them, they had the Neville Brothers open up. Oh, wow. And, okay. And that was 81. And I didn't know, you know, uh, what was I, like 13, 14 years old or whatever the heck it is. I didn't know nothing about them. And you, you, and then in looking back, it's even still an odd pairing. You know, it's like, okay, Stones, Neville Brothers, total different kind of thing. Yep. So I think they all, all, always like doing that. Um, I, you know, I, I mean, I like country music. I am not big on the current country, but Lainey, oh my God, she was fantastic. Yeah. No, <laughs> no she was fine. You know, was, you know, that was my thing. She was fine. You know. Yeah, that's right. It, you know, it was. It didn't suck. She didn't, it was terrible. No. Like, no, oh, I'm gonna... to be fair, like people around us were having a blast with it. I mean, there were some major Laney fans or just people that are really into country music, I guess, that yeah. were around us that were loving it. I, For me, not my thing. But again, she was fine. It's not like there was anything that I thought was like bad. Like she sounded fine. It just, you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah well, I think she did like what, six, six songs or something. I think yeah, she I went. I was it kind was of making correct. notes. She went on at eight o'clock and I think went about 45 minutes, you know. 45? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that you know that was fine. I, I didn't have yeah. a problem with it. It was you know I sat there watched it. Sounded all right. And it, it, it is one of those things too of like regardless of how we feel about the artist, you know, for those experiences where it's like you know we drove along or at least you know Em and I we drove a long way to get there. We've been waiting in line forever. We're standing. We've been just standing with nothing standing, for hours yeah. and hours. It's just so exciting just to get that opener on there, get that music going. Like it going. feels like the show is starting and you pay for it anyway it's part of this that's what me i'd rather be early and sit there and be like the first guy sitting there and get the vibe pick up the vibe i paid for you know i'll see the openers yeah. you know if it, if it was nickelback or some uh opera singer or something i would have still been there you know yeah um and then i you know i like to stick around late sometimes i'll sit there and watch them tear down the set sometimes you know so yeah yep yeah yep. so laney goes on she goes mm -hmm. off. Got about what, like 
Oh, the build up. Man. Minutes. Just... Yeah, the build yeah, up. A, That's the answer. Yeah. 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 There we go. You know, the sun's basically oh, gone man. now. The lights are starting to turn on. People are, you know, kind of coming inside and um and then the lights go down. And you just see the it, which by the way, the overall production, like the screens and all that, oh, it's I thought clear was and everything. Oh, yeah. great. Yeah. But you have the kind of like hackney diamonds, like diamond background. Um and then lights the tongue, go down. The tongue was anything? Wasn't it tongue up and stuff? Yeah, it was a tongue up for a while. And then you could tell when it started to switch into almost showtime. Yeah. And then I think about 9.25, 9.30, lights go down. The screen lights up. Ladies and gentlemen, the ro- and it was like, the rolling scale, you know, <laughs> so that boom. And then uh, Keith comes you hear out. That riff. And, yeah, you hear that riff. Start me up. So... Let's talk stuff. Yeah. I do have to say real quickly, now that you're you're air guitaring over there, your air guitar when we were on the rear GA looking up at you and waving at you, your air guitar was awesome. I just wanted to let you know. <laughs> but let's talk let's talk set list. So yeah. um, start me up with the opener. Yeah. And, and I can awesome. I can bring it up on on uh, uh, the screen right now if you'd like. Yeah, bring it up. All right, let's do that. Um, all right. There it is. Yeah, so opens with Start Me Up. No surprise there. I think they've done that all tour. I think they've done that half their career. Half their uh, career. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, it works. It works. It's great. Yeah. That it makes sense. It, it's perfect for... Again, with that riff, I mean, as soon as they hit that, place goes nuts. I mean, place everybody's... Goes, yeah. Everyone's uh, yelling, screaming. Goes into Let's Spend the Night Together. That was kind of fun. Yeah, and I was talking to a, a, a friend of mine that I work with. Uh, he saw him out in Boston, and he was like, oh, you guys got – that's cool. You got to spend the night together. And, yeah, um, I don't think so they've been doing a it. Couple of, around these first – before Angry, they they have been flipping songs at different shows, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I loved hearing Rocks Off. Man. I mean, that was that a, was, yeah, I didn't expect that. Yeah. One and of my then, favorites uh, of then of course gets into don't get angry with me <laughs> which uh, i like the new song so no, no I, song. I, I, I love that song yeah that's that's one of my favorite off of pack i thought that was great okay so then it gets into that was the that was the fan vote and the i have vote. down here there were uh there were four choices there was shattered there was out of control like a rolling stone and uh live with me and I think for a couple of days, Shattered and Like a Rolling Stone were neck to neck um, in terms of the fan vote. So it was kind of, and we were, and we were talking about that when we met up earlier, you know, what is it, what's it going to be? Is it going to be Shattered? Is it going to be Like a Rolling Stone? But what'd you guys, uh, what'd you guys think about that one? When I actually, right when I saw the, the, the four selections, I figured Shattered was going to win because the mass of population probably didn't know the other one. Yeah, I mean, yeah, well. that's the, that's the hit, right? Yeah. 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 You know, I mean, I would have really loved to see something challenge it more. Like if they had like uh, another two or three hits in there and just really, okay, this could go back and forth all day. Yeah. There was a lot of love for uh, some girls, I felt. Uh, oh, yeah, sure. There were like three or four songs. So, um, I don't know. Chattered was fine. I, My only complaint with it, outside of me just personally not being a huge fan of the song, it's fine. But I feel like the flow of the show, like it just impacted that a little bit because you went from Star Me Of, Let's Spend the Night, Rocks Out, Angry was even like that was a fun one. And then it was just like Shattered. And Uh then they go from Shattered to a huge song that's like unbelievable to hear live, which is Dead Flowers. And I just that just threw me off a little bit. But Uh um, which Lainey sounded great on Dead Flowers. No, yeah, it was great. It was cool that she came out, and I love, I love Dead Flowers, and I, I mean, she, no, 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 uh, nothing negative to say about, um, you know, her there. I think. Kelly oh no, and, the performance was great, and geez, that had to been pretty huge for her. Huge, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you know, Mick comes uh, out in the cowboy hat. I, yeah, I thought it was a perfect song selection for a duet like that. Yep. Yeah. You know, back to Hackney Diamonds, whole wide world, what great yeah. song. Whole wide world, great song. You can still tell though; it's interesting, right? Of like thinking that still probably the vast majority of the people there are not up with the hacky that. diamond situation right no because you could just tell if like you know we're sitting there we're vibing we love the album it's a great song 
Yeah. And you can also tell that a lot of people probably, st- you know, yeah, I, you got a lot of they stopped break. after, uh, you know, it's yeah. only rock and roll. Right? In the seats, yeah, a lot, a lot of people getting up, grab you know, a drink, grab, go to drink, the bathroom, whatever, yeah, whatever. So, yeah, but then uh, it, kicks a, it, up. It, was, it was around at that point, I want to say, right when that song came on, as I started noticing that, then you know, Angry it's wasn't okay. like that, so yeah. I think people yeah. melded out there. Then jumps into tumbling dice. Oh, man. I was I was ecstatic to hear that. It's a favorite yeah. for me. There, I think their stuff with when you know, and obviously you know it's the exile stuff, but uh, you know when they're kicking in the horns and the whole band is I that's to me that sounded so good. Yeah, yeah and let's uh, we should uh, folk you know or bring up the band the backing band that they had. They had the horn section. Great, yeah. The, yep. the backup singers, you know. Who's the drummer? Jordan, Steve Jordan. Steve Jordan, yeah. Yep. So yeah, other keyboard guys. I mean, it's they had a solid band behind them. And that's yeah. actually perfect timing because the next song was "You Can't Always Get What You Want" with the band introduction. With the band intro. Yeah. 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 There you go. Yeah, sounded great on that one too. That French horn coming in. Yeah. Except I, we had a guy. We had a guy right in front of us because it was barricade guy and then us. And he was, and I'm like short to begin, like Alex was fine. I'm short. And he was, I mean, he was a little taller, but then he had his phone up like this, you know, filming the whole night. With two hands too. No, I mean, he didn't he even switched from, and I kid you not, this is not a joke. He switched from binoculars to his uh, phone, up, to binoculars, so to his phone up literally the whole night how his arms didn't get tired for him from a two-hour show i have no idea i think i took like a couple pictures and a couple videos just to have but um yeah. but i don't understand so that was kind of a bummer with especially like can't always get like the big songs i guess you would say like he was just recording the whole thing so yeah, that's weird yeah, well, i was kind of you know, peeking around <laughs> and then it's uh and then it's Mick takes a break and it's Keith time. Keith comes mm. out. Yeah. He does a couple of songs, doesn't he, on there? Yeah. Three so, you know, Tell Me Straight, another one off of uh, Happy, Happy Diamonds, Diamonds, which I love. Well, well TNA, I love. What's that tattoo yeah. you? Yeah, that was a surprise, too. Yeah. yeah and then uh, Before They Make Me Run, I guess that was the debut, debut on the yeah. tour, um, which was super cool. And then I, I think at that point, Wonder it's like, ode to some girls. Um, yeah, and, and you know, at this point now, it's like that uh, that point in the set where it's like, oh, now it's just it's just banger central all the yeah. way out, right? Like it's like, oh, yeah. Um, you know, once you start getting that shaker uh, with the sympathy for the right. it's like, oh, we're moving into it now, right? Yeah the the screens for sympathy. Yeah, I was just gonna but... say the graphics for were pretty cool too. Yeah, they it were was awesome. like snakes going up the poles and stuff. Yeah, it was so was, like, cool. A, little devils like dancing yep. around. Oh yeah. I think I took majority of my pictures during that song just because it was the graphics were unbelievable. Yeah. 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 Honky Tonk Women. Can't go Great. wrong with that. No, yeah. it's solid. Um, I think this is kind of part of the set list where there were very few changes I noticed on other shows. Yeah. yeah. Miss so, You. Yeah. Miss You. I was very excited about, even though it's mm-hmm. been pretty much a staple this tour. It's um, kind of like an extended cut too. Did you find it felt it was a little well, longer? That's yeah. The, yeah. yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Was like to me, uh, "Miss You" and "Give Me Shelter" were my two biggest highlights because you know, "Miss You," I like the song. I, you know, it's not one of my favorites per se, unlike "Give Me Shelter," which is one of my favorite songs of all time. Right. But for me, I'm a sucker for that sort of extended out. Let's let the band that a lot of people don't know let's that let them shine a little bit, right? right. So, yeah. let's give the bass player who's who was you know from south chicago let's get the horn players the sax yeah. players some time to shine and, and show yeah. what incredible musicians they are um and i would have in a million years never would have assumed that miss you would have been the type of song that like would have worked in like a extended almost like pseudo jam band fashion yeah. right but it worked totally yeah. and i was all in on that yeah yeah then give me shelter um probably alex i know that was the highlight of the night for you that was the yeah. big big song Vance, oh, yeah. what, was, what was the highlight for you yeah i kind of go back to t- well, at least tumbling tumble dice because you know okay. I, I like that was a favorite um it's hard to say i mean overall yeah. i mean I, I i didn't you know with a catalog like that i mean really what was the song you'd be like oh this totally you know it's more of i guess you're preferable like you said you're not weren't thrilled about shattered but i'm sure you're like doing the shadoobies you know yeah, I mean, exactly. 
It's not yeah. a song where like, oh, this is, I got to go hit, you know, I'm going to go get a drink. I hate this yeah, song. That was hot dog time. Yeah. You know, well, it's, then, to be fair, we couldn't go get a drink. So, yeah, <laughs> I know you guys were stuck, but it, I didn't. I was like, well, how could you go wrong with this, Cal? I mean, even if they did Harlem Shuffle, I would have still Correct. liked it, you yeah. know. So, yeah. yeah, so give me shelter, paint a shelter, give me shelter, paint a black, jump a jack. I love that song. I love it. It was black cool song. to hear it just and it sounded good because you know, that thing, you know, just that. Uh, were they yeah. actually playing this? You know, originally I think it's on a sitar or something, but yeah, maybe not. But it just sounded really good considering it. You know, it's early '60s I, song. I thought they all sound, like I went in obviously with like the expect like they're old, they're old, and you go in with that expectation. But like, I was surprised how great they sounded. And I don't know if it was just our position because we were like right, we were right. Yeah, you guys in the sweet spot. Too, so yeah. We were in the sweet spot with the sound, but well, it was. And it I think also, you know, that, you know, all things considered sounded great it, to me. I mean, I was, I'm just in awe of I, I'm both the energy of uh, Mick and Ronnie, um, yeah. you know, Mick, Mick's cool. a freak of nature to me, the way he stole, you know, I, I was going to say this, like everybody has seen like the videos of him running around the stage now. And everybody's like, oh, that's crazy, you know, crazy for like an 80 something. But to yeah. see it live too and how big that yeah. stage oh, yeah. is and how and long the end, that walk is. Thing. Yeah. It was the entire um, you know, width of the uh, yeah. of the the floor, and he yeah. commanded the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, and and Ronnie Ronnie was hilarious to me all night. Yeah, they yeah and, they were definitely feeling it. And he definitely still very professional. I thought the banter between songs was fun. I mean, he was joking yeah. about the the naked bike rides, you bike know, riders, yeah, yeah, and you know, and just some of the just the the uh, the banter with the crowd interaction stuff, and I was like, yeah, they're just still pros at it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, then uh, they yeah. and Jim and Jack Flash jump into their encore, which has been the same uh, this whole tour, Sweet Sounds of Heaven from Hackney, and then Satisfaction, they yeah, get yeah. Regions, which, I mean, had the whole stadium, I think, jump in. I think, yeah, and I know, like I said, some of those, I think there's certain songs, you know, they got to play for everybody. So yeah. I yeah. think those tail end songs are, some might get switched around, but it's some, most of those big standards that you would find on a greatest hits for yeah. for those, you know, newbie fans i guess and the hardcore ones are they're pulling out those painted black and and uh you know those first couple yeah. tracks yeah. that they pulled out and I then mean, i'll love... tell you like no go ahead alex well i was gonna say i mean i i do love you know it, granted us three are a little bit more familiar obviously with hackney diamonds and love it mm -hmm. um but you know i love them coming out with that first encore being sweet sounds Ooh. of heaven yeah yeah it was it cool great so, yeah and, and, and satisfaction, then satisfaction then boom <laughs> Yeah, you know, it was. Uh, hey, but, uh, pull that up and and pull that set list back up and scroll sure. down and show you how many songs were pulled off of each album. How many albums they did? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And just real quickly, while you're pulling that up, going kind of off of the end of the show, there was a yeah, moment like it's fine jamming out in satisfaction, and then they come out and you got Ronnie, you got Mick, you got Keith. They come out kind of to the front of the catwalk, I guess in the back still, but right in the front of the catwalk, and they do their bows or whatever. And I uh -oh. literally. I was, and I love the Stones, but it's not like, I would consider them like maybe like a top 10 band for me or something like that. Like, you know, I, I love them, but they're not like my all time favorites or anything like that. I was in tears. Yeah. Yeah. I was in tears. <laughs> I remember yeah, this. I had like, a big grin on my face. I mean, I was, yeah. it, it yeah, was but cool. I was in tears watching them. Cause I'm like, you just it. got that sense, right? Yeah. It was, it was like it's, fuzzy feeling. Yeah, it was that sense. Yeah, all these years and stuff. and Yeah, for me, it was like I genuinely accepted the fact that I probably wasn't going to see them. And then I saw them and it was it just all like hit me. And that was that's probably the only time I'm going to see them. So yeah. definitely kind of an emotional end for me. But all right. Songs on albums. This is cool. Yeah. I, well, obviously, you know, Hackney's been getting a lot of usually a top of the list. But like you said, yeah, they did get a little we got a little some love girls. from some girls for yeah. three songs. Yeah. So, but they, I mean, you look at this and yeah, they pretty much span their career. You know, I mean, you got songs from, uh, you know, they go back to Aftermath. Yeah. I mean, they pretty much covered it. I, I, I didn't see a lot of, yeah, there's not a lot of 90s in there, like, you know, Steel Wheels or, or, or yeah. Voodoo Lounge, but I know they've done it on other shows. So it, it, you wonder how many of these bands, you know, what do we play? You know, you want to play favorites for people, but then, you know, you don't want, they don't want to get bored with playing the same songs every night. So, yeah. It's interesting. And I do like that they were changing the set list because, you know, a lot of these 
bigger bands have too much production. I think I was talking to somebody about Iron Maiden. They have such production um, it's, in their it's stage that they yep. can, yeah they can't change. They don't do it because they got all this stuff going on. And yep. the Stones had the screen, so they could do whatever they want. So that is a benefit of that. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, and, and you know what? They played a two-hour set. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was. I mean, that's. Yeah, that I don't think we got out of there till eleven thirty, and then. Yep. Yeah. So. So I yep. yeah I was I, you know Overall I had no thoughts? problems no no problem with the set list I mean it could it and they could have changed it up a hundred different ways it still would have been kick ass you know for sure yeah yeah. Any final um, thoughts, you guys? I I was so glad. You know, my feeling was, man, I was after, you know, we were walking back and then, you know, I'm sitting, going home on the trams. I, I just I just was saying, man, I am just so glad I went. Yep. It was yeah. such a, you know, it was, yeah. it was better than expected. I kind of didn't know, you know, I, like you said, I didn't expect them to be moving around that much. And, mm-hmm. you know, uh, I was really, really glad I went and I thought they did a great show. And I don't, you know, they're still, they're still freaking rocking it. 70 to 85 years old whatever they are yeah 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 i just i couldn't be happier with again like you just said vance like just so you know it's like a sense of like grateful like i'm just really glad that we decided to go and that you know just uh man that fomo would have been some of the worst and so yeah especially a couple years down the line oh yeah yeah and yeah, same with to me, you know, the non song highlight that Emma was just talking about of, you know, the whole it, it was like, it, it was really cool. You know, it was like the whole band did their sort of like bow, you know, the whole band, the yeah. back band, everybody did their sort of bow. And then they had all left the stage and then the screens go completely black. And yeah. it's just Ronnie, Mick, and Keith. And that's and, when and I lost it. Just, oh man, I'm getting chills just kind of thinking about I, it. Yeah, it, I get them too. Yeah. yeah. I, like I said, I did a big smile on my face and, it was cool. It yeah. was just a cool yeah. moment. Definitely Great. glad. But Great. also the best part by far. You guys too. It was cool. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Absolutely. The best part yeah, by yeah. far was definitely meeting up with you, Van. So you yeah. know. And the <laughs> and the smell of whatever they were cooking after the show. Oh, those ten dollar <laughs> hot dogs, <laughs> sausage things, man. Yeah. I was tempted to try to look good, but yeah, <laughs> then they said bucks. ten bucks, and Van's goes, "No, nope. like, uh, it's just the sausage and onions for good. Yeah. So, and then, well, my other thing was. Some of the people, I don't know about what it was like about you guys, but there's obviously older crowd, and I was on that steep, you know, incline. So I, yeah. it was funny to watch older men and women look up and like, oh my god, I got row thirty two, and I was right. on the second row. But it was, I was saying this on another show too. It was like, I was, I felt like it was like amateur night over there. Those guys were, there were older people who had to be 10, 15 yeah. years older than me that were wasted. Yeah. Like, oh my God, you guys haven't been I, out I had the, guy, the guy in front of me that was filming was sticking his butt up at me and then saying, stop standing on my back. Sir, I'm not even moving. Like, yeah. I was like, I was like, what, you guys, you guys, first time you guys got out since the 78 tour? Geez, I mean, yeah, geez, yeah, they were like pounded beers. And yeah. I, I think I was waiting for, when I was waiting for you guys to meet you guys, I'm watching people that are staggering. Yeah. I go, this guy's like 15 years older than me. He's trashed. I mean, yeah. you know. Yeah, so I thought the crowd, not, the people watching was good, actually. Yeah. Yeah. They did not feel good uh, Monday morning. <laughs> but <laughs> I was like, but cool. overall, what would you guys, what would you guys give it grade wise? I'm giving it, I'm giving it an A. A, five stars. What a, you know, what a top, yeah, I was, there was, there was no downside. Every, like I said, I mean, the, the energy was there. The songs, you know, I'm happy. Great it could have been any type of song list. Uh, they, they played, a, like you said, almost two hours. Um, the stage was cool. Everything, you know, it was yep. everything. Everything worked, man. Yeah. Well, right. cool. Cool. Thank well. you guys for uh, for joining. Yeah, no, thanks for jumping in the, and then just the doing the last show. minute meetup too. You know, that was yeah. great. Sure. No, a lot of fun. But uh, Hackney Diamonds, cool. go get it. Yeah, get it. <laughs> go get the go get the record if you have it. <laughs> I think it's great. Awesome. All, right. All right, thanks, guys. All right, y'all. That's all for this video, everybody. Again, thank you to Alex over at Beer and Vinyl and Vance over at Zeb Pearl. Channel's linked down below. Go give them a sub if you are not familiar. They are awesome. Um, thank you for joining in on this discussion and review. Thank you to all of you for tuning in and watching today's video. And I will see you all for my next video. Bye, guys.